All right, in this video, we'll be looking at custom server-sided sirens. We're going off the cuff, so no scripts here. Um, so if you hear me stumble or there's some gaps or ums, just excuse those, sorry, but I'm trying to help you guys out by making this video and I don't have the time to write all that stuff. So we're gonna be just um, going on a brief overview of what are the steps to make the custom server-sided siren AWCs or the actual files um, needed for them to get over to your client game. So first, make a plan. How many different sirens are you going to be using? How many tones per siren? Um, and how many AWCs are you going to use? We'll talk about those here in a little bit. So come up with how many different departments you're going to use, how many siren tones per um, each of those departments. Download the siren tones that you plan on using from LCPFR or other sites. Rename them to, I recommend renaming them to Airhorn, Whale, Yelp, Priority instead of their default GTA um, tones and get them all organized into a folder. So if it came in an RPF, you're going to want to extract those tones. Um, if there's other junk in there, just go ahead and remove that. Just get all the tones organized to their respective folders. Then we're going to replace the server-sided siren placeholders, which will come with that resource, with the new tones that we just downloaded. Very tedious. Take your time. A mistake here could be a headache later. Um, yeah. Then we're going to create an AWC by dragging an OAC into OpenIV. And I'm about to give you guys a definition for that. So kind of hang on with me. You'll kind of understand what's going on. And then we're going to drag that AWC back into our server-sided uh, Siren resource from OpenIV. So let's talk about what these acronyms are, OAC and AWC. Open audio containers are an OpenIV format which contains all the details needed for OpenIV to make an AWC. You can think of this as a recipe. It is the instructions for OpenIV to make an AWC. An AWC is an audio wave container. It's uh, built in with Rockstar and GTA 5. Um, they came up with this and it has um, a lot of special parameters and that's why we use OpenIV to um, build that for us. It's pretty complicated. This is what 5M uses, AWCs. 5M does not look at OACs. Um, the game does not use OACs. So what we're trying to get to is an o audio wave container um, that the game will then we look at the graphic at the bottom, we're going to drag our OAC into OpenIV. OpenIV will then go out to the folder, get all the tones, and build them into our result of an AWC. Let's talk about some of the limitations involved here, some of the no-nos before we get started in the example. You cannot change the name of the tones. Do not rename the tones from the server-sided siren resource. Um, you're gonna obviously be renaming the tones that you downloaded, but you cannot change the name of them on the server-sided side. You cannot change the name of the OAC folder, the AWC file, um, because it's pretty complicated how this stuff works. It just doesn't work that way. You cannot change the name of it. It will not work for you guys. Large or long tones may not work. There are limitations to GTA 5. Rockstar made it to only support basically what they needed it to do. There's no point for them to bake in extra stuff. So uh, super long or super large tones may not work. Similarly, if your AWC, the resultant file, is too large because your tones are too large combined, it may not work as well. And you cannot have missing tones. So if you don't need a tone on the server-sided siren resource, I recommend you use an empty WAV file, or you can leave the placeholder in there, but you cannot just delete it and, and pretend it's gone. Obviously, OpenIV is looking at that recipe, and it will not be happy if you don't have all the ingredients there. WAV files must be mono channel and 16-bit PCM. This is more complicated audio stuff. If you're making your own sirens, um, just keep that in mind. Most of your sirens that you can download off LCPFR are already going to be compatible with this. Horn. Whale. All right, so on the left here, I have my folder of siren tones. 
And on the right, I have the server side of Tyrant Resource OAC that I'm working on. I copy the name by double clicking on it, and then I delete it. And I copy over the tone that I'm replacing it with, double click on it, and paste the new name. So it's a lot of renaming, a lot of copy and pasting. And that's where these errors can come into play if you get the wrong tone or you miss a tone, and then you have to go back later and do it again. So I recommend enabling um, the size display for the actual file. It'll kind of help you see um, which ones you have and have not, because typically your your turns will all the pre placeholders are around the same size. Um, so I'm just going to continue doing that, and I'll get back with you when I'm done. All right, so now that we've replaced our WAV files in each of our OAC folders um, in here, we have all of these chosen working. We can go ahead and, and make our AWCs from our OACs. So to do that, we're going to open up OpenIV, turn on edit mode, and for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to create a folder, call it server-side sirens. Um, since we won't actually need this in our base game later, um, we'll just add this here and we can delete them after we're done. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop all of our OACs in here. That'll create the AWCs. So it just used the recipe to make our resultant AWCs. And now we can drag and drop them back here. We'll do copy and replace. So now we have our AWCs. We're ready for 5M to stream this to um, each of the clients. and we'll be able to utilize those tones. So now that we're done, we can actually delete this folder and don't need it anymore. We can exit out of OpenIV. All right, so for the remainder of this video, we'll be talking about how to actually get 5M to play these sirens. Um, and to do that, we'll be using Luxart Vehicle Control version three, which is a resource I've made um, as a siren and light controller. The, the remainder of this will be for that purpose. We've already had, we've already replaced our tones. We already have the AWCs. 5M now has, has access to those. If you're integrating this with another resource, you might need to go find another tutorial um, on where you would actually do that. There, I know there are some out there that have instructions to actually play those tones. But yeah, let's continue with LVCV3. So I have open our sirens.lua which contains all of the sirens that uh, the script will use. Um, and I have open some documentation here. So this is Luxar Engineer doc page, a page I wrote about all the different information and tools and things that you might need. This. So if we navigate to the server-side siren integration page, it talks about some of the resources. In this case, we're using server-side sounds and sirens. We'll request the audio bank. Um, so we need to find the audio banks for these here. If I just do a little um, find command, and we're going to paste them on inside the irons.lua above here. Now, LVC does have a limitation of seven AWCs, and that's why I'm using seven here. Um, it is a limitation based on 5M side um, because it's a Lua script. ELS, I know, I think can use more, but it's not something I can fix. It's something citizen so FX and problem. We'll just keep copying and pasting these over.
All right, so now once we have all of the, we've requested all the script audio banks, this is telling 5M, hey, we're gonna be using these, let's go ahead and get them loaded and ready to go. We'll continue down here. So I already included a, yes, a list of all of the specific, um, uh, basically an example siren table with every single tone. And like I said, you can copy and paste this. It's just going to be a little harder because you're going to have so many different tones to look at. So what I recommend doing is doing it uh, manually. Um, and so we'll just go ahead and start copying down. So for example, in this case, I'm actually going to start with LCPD. Since please siren means it's a little more. There we go. What I'm going to do is just copy and paste this over here so that I make a note. So I'll copy and paste this over here. Add up. And so now I would go in and rename these sirens to what you would like them to be. In my case, I'm using the 295. This is the whale tone. Uh, Nope. Um, but you get the concept. You'd go through here and rename them to um, whatever name that you would like them to have. It help, it's helpful to keep them organized for later. So we'll go ahead and look at the. And um, since I am copy and paste them, I'm going to have to change the numbers on these. Big deal. We have 15 right down here. And we'll need to know that for uh, in the future. And I'm going to go ahead and All right, and so I would continue renaming these. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, do that uh, right now. Very important that you um, don't lose track of your numbers and you're making sure that all your numbers are working because we'll need them later to actually assign them to the cars. So if you get those off, uh, you're going to be a little bit confused when you're playing the wrong siren tone. So you're going to continue doing this until you have all of the sirens that you've streamed here um, included in your sirens table. Um, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and copy over. I've already done this, so let's copy and paste that over. All right, so for simplicity's sake, I went ahead and just copied and pasted um, a, ta uh, the table that I've already done in the past. Um, but it, you just complete the process. Copy and paste over the sirens over here. Make sure that you renumber them so that they're in order. Um, and this is actually from the example pack that I have on the Luxart Vehicle Control Extras repository. The link in that in the description and on my Discord as well. So in this pack, we're going to be having we have the Wayland 295, the Federal Signal, Touchmaster Delta, Mastercom B, Wayland Syncom Gold, a Firehorn a power call, and a Q siren as well. You'll notice that I'm not actually using all the sirens here, so you don't have to include. If you have an empty placeholder, you don't need to include that. And so you can go through and listen to each of the tones as you fill these out. Make sure that you get the name right. And um, if there is any empty ones, you can actually omit those. We don't need them. So in this case, you know, BCFG has um, six tones, I believe. 
included in the sound pack, but we're only using two of them. The rest of them are going to be empty placeholders. And then we can go through and actually assign our siren. So we'd replace the game name with the vehicle here. There's a lot of documentation out there. Um, I have previous videos on how to go ahead and assign those sirens. I'm not going to talk about that in detail in here, but you'd replace um, this section here with the game vehicle that you'd like to assign these sirens to. Now you can get in game, you can test out your sirens, see if they work. If they work, great, you are all set, you have finished up. If they do not, you can download the server sided siren tester which is a little resource I made to actually test out these and make sure to figure out is it an LVC problem or is it a um, server sided siren problem. So if you download um, this make sure you install RAID UI which you can find on my LVC download. Um, you can open up you need to open up the config and actually set the name. So here we're using SAS, so we'll set the name first, and we'll start it. And you can go through and play each of the tones. If the tones do not play, then it's a problem with your server-sided sirens resource. Either you didn't build the AWC correctly, there was an error that you missed, um, or it's just too large. Um, we recommend somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 kilobytes, but it it kind of varies. So um, if it doesn't play using this, try redoing it. Make sure that the file size, if the AWC looks like it's too large, um, which you can hear at the size, um, if it sticks out versus your other ones, and that might be the issue. You might need to rearrange sirens a little bit or siren tones a little differently. If it does play in here, but not an LVC, then you have an error here. You have copied the wrong line, or you're missing one of these. Um, remember, you can only have seven of these, so you cannot have any more sirens beyond the ones that are contained in these uh, AWCs. Um, so double check that, and hopefully you can get it resolved. If not, feel free to make a ticket um, or create a thread on my Discord. Um, audio on my Discord, if you go to audio support, that's going to be for everything server-sided siren related. Um, or you can go to LVC v3 if you're having an issue making your Sirens Lua. That should wrap everything up. Feel free to comment below. Um, join the Discord. Check out my example on the repository, which I will link below. Um, and check out Luxar Engineering documentation for helpful stuff. Thanks, guys.